Hello chaps and chapettes. Today, I've got a review on this. A Hornby Early BR Class J15. So, when you first look at the box, you get a nice, rather nice picture of the engine. And this is, my, well, one of two of my first Hornby railway bikes. So, I was very excited about this, having heard all the good things about sprung buffers, painted cabs and pickups on the tender, as you can see the wires, telltale stuff these. Now, if you look at the back of the box, you can see you've got some drawings which were done by Hornby and uh, do not scale, obviously. And this is classed by the British Railways as a 1P2F. Now, I don't actually know what 1P2F stands for, like I know 0P, 1P, 4P, that, that kind of thing, but I don't know about that very much, anyway. So, here we are, here's the loco, oh, um, give me a second, there's that if you want it, it's DCC ready, I'm not sure if it's, so it's not fitted with DCC, but good thing I'm analogue at the moment, and as you can see up front, we have the running number, which you can't quite see, it's focusing on the current, on my current running, it plugs a bit more. Focus, there we go. Which is 65469. And the buffers are indeed sprung. Very happy about that. Now I've gone and fitted a few details. Not too many, but whatever. And if I move around here to the cab, or at least try to. My, my iPad's not focusing very well. You can see there it's got painted details inside the cab and I have also fitted some detail to the rear and the rear buffers are also sprung. Red connecting rods as well, early BR, so pretty good. Yeah, pretty basic, so yeah, I'll show you what running. Now it is a freight locomotive, so it's not really designed to be all that quick, is it? Now, there you go, first test of it. Is. Taking off beautiful and slow. And it was used for goods. This was used mainly for goods locomotives. It's, incre it's nice and slow, this one. Almost incredibly so, and if I can show you now the slow speed crawl on this is mad I mean I'm right down the bottom of the controller tell me is that still spinning or not there we go that is moving how crazy is that that's about half speed as well Backwards. Equally as slow. So that's really good. That's a really good engine. And that's already been run in. Top speed wise, it can get a bit faster, but not by too much, which is nice. Probably see something else I'm going to put up for a day or two. So there you have it, folks. The Hornby J15. Oh, uh, ah, yeah. Let me just talk about the mechanism for a second. The mechanism is a f is a five pull dual flywheel tender motor with tender pickups, which is really good. That is a really great mechanism. I've got my big O6. 462 tender engines, sorry, over there, which I got in my Hornby train sets, so you can see them up there, um, and they have flywheels, and I thought they went well, they had no tender pickups, or anything, so I think this one went very well, now, another few details, the funnel is tapered, and it's got some very nice separately fitted parts, and brake lever, brake levers, it's got the NEM style couplings. Focus. There we are. It's 
pretenders have three wheels, and they do have the pickups, as I mentioned earlier. Very nice cab detail, and I'll give you a better look at that now that it's in the light. You can see there. Windows are glazed, and that is a very nice look. Now, if you haven't noticed it already, the cab does have a gap there, and it's quite noticeable. But you're not always looking down on it, so it's kind of alright, I guess. Not too shabby. Not too shoddy. Pretty good. Very well good slow speed. And very well priced as well. I got mine for 180 Australian dollars. With free shipping. So. Very good. Even though it did come from the United Kingdom. Yeah, I think the place I bought it, I bought it from needed to source them. So they sourced it from the United Kingdom. Hence why it took so long to come. Anyway. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Ta-ta.